Hello dear viewers. So let us start with the very fundamental chapter of gaseous state today. Gaseous state is one chapter which will have numerous applications in the chapters to come later. So as you all might be knowing from your previous classes that the matter can broadly be classified into the three states. Fine. So matter as we all know exists in the three states and if we just classify those three states they would be we all know the names right the names are the solid state the liquid state and the gaseous state in this chapter we will be focusing more on the gaseous part as we move ahead in our course we will be talking about the solid state and the liquid state as well now first of all what is the fundamental difference between these three states of matter? The one important difference, the point of difference is that of the intermolecular forces of attraction. So what happens in case of solids is that they have very strong, very strong intermolecular, the solids have very strong intermolecular forces, right? And what happens due to this is that the particles of the solid are fixed in their respective locations. At most, they can execute a vibratory motion, but they are not allowed to leave their positions or move about to different locations. So due to this, the solids have a very rigid kind of a structure. And basically what I mean to say is that they have a fixed shape and a fixed volume. That takes us to the liquids. In case of liquids, the forces of attraction are not as strong as they are in case of solids. So I would say that liquids have an intermediate, intermediate forces of attraction. And because of this, the liquids do have a fixed volume, but they do not have a fixed shape. So liquids have a fixed volume but we'll say that they don't have a fixed shape. So I write no fixed shape over here. And finally, the part in which we are most interested in as far as this chapter is concerned, that is the gaseous state. In case of gases, the forces of attraction are almost zero. So we'll say that the gases have a negligible force of attraction, the gases have a negligible force of attraction and due to this what happens is that the gases have this tendency of filling up the entire space which is available to them. So basically the gases neither have, neither have a fixed shape, neither have a fixed shape nor a fixed volume right so neither the shape nor the volume is fixed in case of gases basically at the molecular level you all can picturize the particles of gas as some kind of tiny tiny particles which are moving at very high velocities within the container and they are also colliding with themselves so there are particle particle collisions and they are also colliding at the same time with the walls of the container this particular molecular model or the molecular picture of the gas will be used in the lessons to come. So just, just keep that in mind that, the, that we can visualize the sample of gas as suppose we have a container and there are some there is some gas in this container. We have to create this mental image in our minds that these particles are moving randomly throughout the container. They are going collisions within themselves and also colliding with these walls of the container. Thank you.